everybody, today I'm going to be doing my first ever unboxing for you guys. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while, um, so it was perfect timing. The last week I got an amazing big package of books through the door from the lovely people at Galansk who sent me a big batch of their March paperbacks to talk about. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do my first unboxing and show you guys what they sent me. So you can imagine my excitement when this came through the door for me last week. It's a huge box and as you can see it's absolutely crammed full of all different kinds of sci-fi and fantasy books and I'm going to show you what's in there. So the first thing I notice is that the first two books I pull out a part of the same series. So I've got parts one and two of the Words of Radiance series by Brandon Sanderson. So this is Words of Radiance part one and two and it's part of the Stormlight Archive series. Um, these are going to be available on NetGalley until 31st of March so if you like the idea of them go ahead now and request them. These are sold over 80,000 copies so these are a big deal, number one bestseller in the USA, number two bestseller in the UK. So there we go. And next up we've got In Dark Service by Stephen Hunt. This is the first book in a new steampunk series. This came out on the 12th of March and as you can see this has got some quite amazing cover art. And this is about a guy who is bored with his mundane existence. He wants some adventure and he gets adventure when he's captured by slavers. So this is the story of what happens to him when he's captured by slavers and his father's journey to try and save him. Uh, next up we've got a nice skinny little book here for someone who maybe just wants to dip into a bit of sci-fi fantasy but doesn't want to invest some time in a really long series. This is The Word for World is Forest and it's a Hugo Award winning novel. This is billed as an award winning tale of colonisation and oppression. And now we have... The House of War and Witness, which is by Linda Carey, Louise Carey and M. R. Carey. So many Careys wrote this novel. And this is described as a, in the press release as a historical ghost story, which is quite interesting. Um, SFX have given it a quote on the back that says, A twisty, gripping, atmospheric tale, well-paced, absorbing and intricately put together. So there we go. Maybe this would be a good book. It sounds like this would be a good read for somebody who's into historical and wants to slightly branch out into something new but sort of wants the comfort of a familiar historical setting. And the book behind this amazing cover is The Splintered Gods by Stephen Dayas. There's a quote from Joe Abercrombie on the front saying a fast, sharp, ruthless read. So this one sounds pretty interesting so I'm actually going to read you the little description that I got on the press release. Forced into submission by a magic necklace threatening to kill her as she disobeys, the Dragon Queen has no choice but to wage war on her rivals, turning the citizens of the land against her. Meanwhile, lost in someone else's body, Baron, the bloody judge, is searching for the man who stole his life. Scrabbling to survive in a world shaken by the Dragon Queen's attack, little does Baron know that he alone bears the power to save the land. I'm really excited about this next one. This is volume one of the Book of the New Sun, Shadow and Claw, and this is by Jean Wolfe. And the quote on the front is from the one and only George R. Martin. And this one is set a million years in the future when the sun is dying. So I think this is gonna be a really interesting read. It has some amazing write-ups and I am really excited to get cracking with it. And the last book I'm gonna to talk to you about today is Queen of the Dark Things by C. Robert Cargill. And this has got the most beautiful cover. I hope you can see it properly. It is stunning and I hadn't heard of this one before I picked it out of the box. Based on the cover I had to know more about it and I read up on it and it sounds like a really really fascinating story and I'm really really looking forward to getting my teeth into. It's a great write up of it in the press release that I was sent so I'm just going to share a little bit of that with you now. This acclaimed work of dark and magical contemporary fantasy, perfect for fans of Neil Gaiman, moves into the world of Aboriginal myth. Doesn't that sound amazing? And that is everything that I got in my March box from Galansk. Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to the team who sent this to me. It was ridiculously over the top generous. It was so much fun opening it and discovering what was inside. 
and it was great fun filming a video of it too. So I hope you enjoyed my first unboxing video, I hope there's a couple of books in there that have piqued your interest. Obviously all the details from all of them are on Goodreads, they're all available now so if there's anything that took your fancy you can head out to your local bookshop and pick up a copy. So I will see you guys again in a couple of weeks, bye!